All right, now we're going to do uh, some multiple base or recursive cases. Uh, first, um, if you have a power with a negative exponent, like if we're going to do 2 to the negative fifth, uh, first, let's see where that goes wrong. So let's go up here to this example and go ahead and run this. And if we do 2 to the, uh, let's move this over just a little bit, we do 2 to the negative fifth, and we go ahead and run that. Uh, we see that, uh, whoop, stack overflow. And now let's see why. Because when the exponent is negative, well, exponent's not zero. So then we'll return two times two to the negative sixth. Oh dear. And then that's two times two to the negative seventh, and we're in trouble. Seems like we have to special case. Let's get rid of that assumption. See, this, ver this version did assume that, and we violated the assumption. We have to get rid of it now. We'll handle it. So if the exponent is uh, less than zero, then what you do is you, well, um, you know that um, ba base to the negative exponent uh, is the same as one over base uh, to the exponent. So we can just go ahead and do that. We can just actually simply return return 1 divided by base to the exponent, in case you don't like. Just try that. Except now the exponent has to be the positive exponent, so we'll do the uh, ABS of the exponent. We'll go ahead and run that. And 0 0.0325. And then if we go ahead and think about what is 2 to the negative fifth, uh, well, that's going to be print 2 to the negative 5. It's going to be that number, but let's see it. And there it is. So there's our answer. And the, the key here, and by the way, you can also, if you like, put an elif there. It doesn't really matter if it returns, but it maybe reads a little clearer. So you can have multiple base cases, or at least multiple cases. This actually is not a base case. It is a recursive case. Uh, we could put it before or after our base case. So maybe you'd even prefer it this way. And that still works. So if we're not in our base case, we have two different recursive cases. Our two recursive cases are the negative recursive case and the positive. And the negative, we really just flip it around into a positive because two to the negative fifth is one over uh, two to the fifth. Right? So that was power, which we see right here. Now uh, we have do, 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 power with negative exponents. Interleave with different length lists. And I'll let you work this out for yourself, but the basic idea is, yeah, we'll just say it. If, if you're inter interleaving lists and they're the same length, no problem. But if you run out of length, uh, you'll crash if you don't test for it. So we just have to test if we ran out of the first list, uh, in which case you're done and you just return the second. But if we ran out of the second, then you're done and you have to return the first. So you need multiple base cases. So in, the, in this case, there's multiple uh, recursive cases in for this problem, there's multiple base cases. And so we see you can have multiple base or rec recursive cases.